Hello, fellow odd ones. Welcome back. I hope you've had a good week. If you're new here, I'm Rhonda. This is where I bake stuff and I talk about weird random stuff that I find really funny or highly entertaining. Last week, I started to talk about the Illuminati and all of the conspiracy theories surrounding that group. If you missed it, you can always go check it out. Warning, the following video contains references to the Illuminati, the occult, drugs, death, adult content and language which may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. So, today I'm going to make snickerdoodles. I'm going to further discuss the Illuminati. As I said, so much, so, so, so much, that um, it's got to be a series. It's crazy. So, your quick recap on the Illuminati is that they were originally formed in 1776 in Bavaria by Adam Weistop. There were government crackdowns on secret societies in the 1780s, and the original Illuminati disbanded. Some theorists believe that the group still exists as a secret shadow cabal and they're actually the ones ruling the world so that they can take it over with a new world order. This week we're going to be talking about the Freemasons because you can't talk about one group without mentioning the other group. Sorry if that was really loud. Some theorists believe that the Freemasons and the Illuminati are one and the same. Spoilers, they're not. In the early days of the American Republic, um, Freemasons were actually more feared than the Illuminati. Freemasons served as a focal point of paranoia, and that paranoia was their influence over the United, over the United States. Um, there were many founding fathers that were Freemasons, and some of the key symbols used in America may have derived from the group. And there's one argument that the floating eye um, above the pyramid on the dollar is actually from Freemasonry and the other argument it was that it was meant as a Christian symbol you know the all-seeing eye and had nothing to do with Freemasons or even the original Bavarian Illuminati. So early Freemason paranoia helps us to understand um, Conspiracy theories about the Illuminati. Hang on, the butter got really soft. I lost a stick. Oh, that's a piece of butter. No. Okay. I'm gonna make a mess today. Three weeks of baking stuff that I've never made before. Good times. Anyway, so blah, 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 paranoia Freemasons, understanding the Illuminati today. And according to Joseph Uzinski, who is a political scientist at the University of Miami, people will use a term like Illuminati to define anything that they don't like or that might challenge their values. 
Freemasons trace all the way back to the Middle Ages. And most craftsmen were organized in local guilds because cathedral builders would travel from city to city. So it was easier to identify other members of your guild by different symbols, much like the Builder Square and Compass in Freemasonry. And Freemasonry as we know it today was actually created <laughs> in 1717 in England when four smaller lodges joined together to make one great big lodge. Freemasonry then spread throughout Europe and into the 13 colonies. 13 of the 39 men who signed the Constitution were Masons. George Washington, James Monroe, Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, and Paul Revere all counted themselves as Freemasons. Other Freemasons include Mozart, Winston Churchill, Davy Crockett, FDR, and John Wayne, the cowboy, not the killer clown. While not a religion, members of Freemasonry are encouraged to believe in a supreme being or grand architect of the universe. It is said that the Masonic temples and their secret rituals have brought them into conflict with the Catholic Church. With the first church condemning the Freemasons in 1738. Since that time, approximately 20 decrees have been issued against the Masons by the church. In 1985, Roman Catholic bishops actually reinstated over 200 years worth of their decrees due to a number of Catholics joining the Freemasons. The secrecy of the Freemasons had the distrust of not only the Catholic Church, but early Americans as well. And it said there was such distrust of the Freemasons that an actual third party was formed in 1828 known as the Anti-Masonic Party. They didn't last long. Freemasons still exist today, and their public image is primarily influenced by the Shriners. The Shriners are a subset of Freemasonry known as the Ancient Arabic Order Nobles of the Mystic Shrine. They were founded by the Freemasons in 1870 at New York City's Knickerbocker College and they still practice their charitable and volunteer work today. So the thinking that the Freemasons and the Illuminati are the same is that during the formation of the original Bavarian Illuminati, it said that some of their members were already members of the Freemasons. It is said that the Freemasons had similar goals as the Illuminati, as far as, you know, as similar goals as far as influence over politics and et cetera and so on. Anyway, both groups were part of the Enlightenment. They were both secret societies. And then the ban happened in the 1780s, coming, cracking down on secret societies and everything else. But outside of just a ban, there was a scandal for Adam Weistop. 
which drove him underground and that's what really really led to you're getting more creative the band on <laughs> You don't get this, I need it. <sighs> I forgot what I was talking about now. Oh, yeah, Scandal, Vice Top. He fled to somewhere else. Original Illuminati, gone forever. Over the centuries, since 1784, people have tried to reestablish the Illuminati, but it's never really caught on. Um, conspiracy theorists believe that the Illuminati are now a part of the Freemasons, and they're really up to no good. Though there's no absolute proof that this is true, that has not stopped true believers from thinking they're going to take over the world. Psst, that you know, feed the beast. He works really hard. He helps me a lot. He does all of this. And, you know, I don't edit my own videos. Mostly because he's better at it than I am. So. Common Freemason symbols are the square and the compass, with the right angle of the builder's square being joined by compass, which is actually a tool used in geometry. Um, and some say that the G in the middle of the symbol represents God or the grand architect of the universe. The eye of providence above the dollar bill, well, apparently, that symbol goes back to the ancient Egyptians as they used the eye of Horus, which was, you know, back before the Freemasons. And the Freemasons were around before the Illuminati, so. It was also used in early Renaissance art uh, as a symbol of Christianity and the watchfulness of God. That said, according to the Philadelphia Federal Reserve, Freemason Henry Wallace and FDR, when redesigning the dollar bill in 1934, used the symbol of the all-seeing eye. According to the George Washington Masonic Memorial, the all-seeing eye, is a Masonic symbol of the watchful care of the Supreme Architect. The symbol began appearing in Masonic literature in the mid-1700s, before the Illuminati. Regardless of the differences between these groups, that has not stopped conspiracy theorists from coming up with their, from connecting them or coming up with their own theories about Freemasonry. Some of these theories include Freemasonry is controlled by the Illuminati and they secretly control many major aspects of society and government to work to establish a new world order. This could also include the Knights Templar, tis but a flesh wound, and Jews. <sighs> but it's a part to take over the world. Thank you in the brain. Freemasons are behind the U.S. taxes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're behind it because they want to control the American people and eventually the world. I'm not a fan of taxes, but I'm not blaming the Freemasons. Freemasons faked the moon landing. 
also the Freemasons, with the help of NASA, hid the theory that the Earth is flat. Humanoid reptiles <laughs> are behind the secret societies such as Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Maybe Dr. Young Hai Chi was right. First attempt at snickerdoodles. It says to bake them for like eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna wear them like earrings. Snickerdoodle earrings. That'd be fun. I think it would be hygienic. Anyway, when it comes to the Illuminati, it's a rabbit hole. There is so much out there. Again, if you are a true believer, not the person that you want to be listening to. I'm amused by it all. So let's recap. Freemasons first, then the Illuminati. Governments cracked down in the 1780s, 1784, amidst a scandal and everything else. Adam of Weistop left Bavaria, and the original Illuminati, gone. Freemasons still around. Anti-Masonic party formed in America, also gone. Freemasonry still around. Then you got the Shriners. Now, what's next with the Illuminati? Well, I guess stay tuned. But until then, be kind to each other. Be compassionate. Have a great week. Bye.